So today I am extremely happy. We have with us Sorov. Sorov joined in batch fourteen. Yes, you heard me right. The last batch, which ended on the last week of November, and he cleared PMP exactly in two weeks. And what a journey we had! Short, focused, dedicated. and on the point this guy followed me religiously even gave exam on uh, my side so i am extremely proud to say that he cleared pmp with all above target including the final thing like he was more towards getting giving exam in home and we decided it yesterday and yes. i said try to give it in center He checked. He said, "Center is like three hour drive." Said, "I don't recommend driving three hours. Like ten hour, ten ten minutes drive is enough. Three hours will be tired you, and you will not be uh, in a good mood to clear exam and book um, hotel something." He did that. He followed each step, and the result is in front of you. And guys, all the credit goes to Sol. The way he studied, the way he worked. It is awesome. So, sort of, this is your journey. It belongs to you. Please go ahead. Sure. First of all, I would like you to say thank you because you are saying it's because of me, and I'm gonna say it's because of you. So, let me share my journey so people will understand like what I'm trying to say. So, like basically, I was trying to clear PMP before uh, Christmas for sure because in Canada we have Christmas, and it's better to enjoy your vacation without studying PMP. and you have your goal clear right so you can focus on vacation and uh, so when i reach out to you i i remember very well i ask you so you still have a spot left for batch 14 because i know that batch will give me a chance to clear pmp before christmas vacation and you are like yeah still we have spot and i just i like okay i am going to book my spot in the batch 14 and then we did and the rest is the history and uh, from the day one i was i was telling you right that i want to clear as soon as possible as soon as possible and you were like yeah we can do it but the thing which i liked about you is that you did not like i watched few few journey and uh, you did not push your candidates you were like okay do your best but still you were there to support your candidates or your students to clear pmp as soon as possible so day one for the batch was like sir is saying you will be able to clear as soon as possible how it's difficult it's a tough exam and the second thing as you said don't go through the book i did not touch a single paper i did not touch a single page i just focus on your material i just focus on the thing which you said do this do that and here you go so whoever is watching journey from batch 14 or who will be watching from batch 14 i highly recommend you guys if i can do it you can do it you still have a chance let's do it before christmas and uh, just follow whatever amesar says he knows better than you so i love what you just shared so that was an interesting thing uh, clear it before christmas yes enjoy your christmas especially for those people who are living in us canada and places where the christmas is celebrated try to target you have 10 days with you you can easily clear people in batch 14 and previous batches or my one to one student i have i got out of doubt that they can uh, clear exam they can 100% do it the only thing is that they need the persistence so let's talk uh, first about the exam then we will talk about my program yeah so so uh, please Right. Yeah. So in exam, I would say, like uh, as you said, like the, yeah, we just decided yesterday that go for a center. So again, I did not give even a second thought that why Sir is saying for center. I just booked the center. I went to the place like uh, yesterday night. I stayed at the hotel because it was two hours drive. And then morning, I reached to the center. I would say process was quite easy and uh, like nothing much worried about. But only thing is atmosphere will be different, right? you will be in like completely exam mode and you are in the center so you just have to focus that don't worry about anything just focus whatever you have studied and just don't think about anything because what happen is once the exam will start 
and if you are if you have any second thought if you are thinking about something how i'll perform then even first few question will be difficult so what i did i'm like okay i know everything i'm going to crack the pmp because sir have told me you will be able to clear the pmp so from question 1 because i see question 1 was three line question and two and each answer was like two lines and i was like really and then i was like okay 1 2 3 so while i was going from question 1 to 16 first 60 question i would say it was it was good but most of the question were three lines and options were one line or two lines so basically you have to prepare and you have to adapt the uh, ability to read questions quickly so you can finish your like basically 60 question on time and uh, for so far 60 question was good i don't remember exact time but uh, to be precise i would say i took 70 minutes even though it was like three or four liner question i took 70 minutes and then i took a break and uh, second part was very very difficult and uh, for second it took me like 80 minutes to complete the second part so i thought like if first part was okay second part is difficult then i'll be having difficulty in third part so after second break i was sure i just had a thought in my mind now only 60 questions will be going to complete and i'm done with pmp and last part again it was like three line or four line questions but question was i would say not easy but you can attain if you are focused you can attain the question easily and you can answer you can guess the answer easily you don't have to like think oh why it's like that or like that and you will be surprised sir last 10 question i got four question out of last 10 question i got four question two choices question so basically it took me more time to complete last questions now why was that so basically like uh, uh, from 1 to 1 to 160 question i did not get any like multiple choice questions or i mean, uh, sorry multiple cho- option questions it's like only you choose the question and you go for the answer but last 10 question i was not expecting i thought okay you know you are about to finish your exam so it's supposed to be easy i'm not saying it should be easy it's supposed to be easy and it should be like quick but the thing is- like who said like who said it it is it is supposed no. to be <laughs> no but i i thought okay last 10 question they know people are frustrated so answer or question should be easy but it was nothing like that okay, the okay. exam pattern was uh, relevant to the recent situation more of the questions based on virtual team people a uh, few questions on stakeholder so i would say like uh, stakeholder should be clear communication and stakeholder should be clear while, while you are preparing for pmp and uh, zero question relate regarding cost regarding spi regarding cpi zero question one drag and drop was very quite easy one drag and drop and mm-hmm. what about uh, those graph question oh yes one graph question but that was also easy i mean if you have prepared agile or scrum then it was easy so most of the question was based on agile and uh, few of them were hybrid and uh, rest of the question they did not mention about the approach they just mentioned you are in the fourth iteration sorry you have seventh iteration of the project plan and you are in third iteration this guy is or i mean stakeholder is not happy they are like to know about something what are you going to do so it was kind of that so they did not mention the uh, method like which method you are currently using and based on that you have to get guess like what kind of answers are available and you have to go for the choices okay okay now that's an amazing thing okay let's talk more about now a little bit about the time management and uh, then after that we'll get back to the last day call how much that was effective so please how did you manage that time starting from the start of the exam the tutorial thing okay so i would say like uh, uh, blindly whoever like who are student working with you or who are the student they are from batch 14 or whatever batch or 101 i would say just follow blindly amir sir because first i clear all the mocks you know my score so first i clear all the mocks you can share you can share your score okay. yeah so like in the mocks like uh, i i first score was like 65 then 70 then 72 and whoever is preparing udemy mock guys fourth mock is really important and you have to make sure that you have concept clear just don't worry about the timing while you are focusing on fourth mock mock 
just focus about the concept and fourth mock you know the score was i guess 69 and uh, i would say prepcast was so udemy helped me to clear the concept and prepcast no, no, I, i will add something here why do i give prepcast before you move you see uh, in udemy you guys have luxury to mock, stop the mock i am working on my simulator and my uh, guys are just uh, not supporting me that much my <laughs> software team is getting me delay so the thing is that with udemy mock i love the way and everything that everyone can buy and it's a good platform to be used but there's one big problem and the big problem is this that you can pause the exam right that's true you you, you can pause the exam at any time you want now th- why that's a problem why that's a problem it is because in real exam you cannot pause pause it, in real exam you cannot pause but here you can pause so that's a problem in my right. opinion so in order to overcome this although udemy is running with the time i always need something that can overcome this thing and that's why the people who are ready for the exam uh, for them we provide prepcast that the that is why we are the premium training programs we have high cost over and we don't give discount at all because we are buying everything for you right, right. that is that's true yeah so that i didn't pay anything for my books i didn't pay anything for any material any exam yeah. anything i didn't pay that that software alone costs uh, uh, cost uh, 149 dollars just to put the context into that okay so the purpose is that you can get your time right mm-hmm. like 60 60, 60 and then again i don't consider mocks as important in prepcast they are not as relevant and you can testify that thing the thing is timing that's why you haven't done there are four mocks you haven't done a single mock what you are doing 60 60 30 60 60 30 like uh, so sort of did you have that question here yeah, there are four mocks why this not why this guy is not asking me to do the mock and he's asking me to do 60 60 question did you I can answer you that question now after giving pmp so when like i was doing 60 60 question right so firstly i thought questions i mean final exam will be 180 questions why sir is telling me to just do 60 question even though i did not attempt any mock because i didn't want to you didn't tell me i didn't want to attempt attempt the mock and uh, then in the exam i realized because just because of that 60 question my mindset was like that so i like in prep prepcast we used to have 72 minutes to attempt 60 question and my mindset was like okay But that's what i did in prepcast like last few uh, questions i did that in the prepcast consider 1 minute for 60 question so i used to finish those questions like 55 minutes or 50 minutes and that helped me a lot in the exam because in in the exam i was like okay i have to do three prepcast one prepcast is done now two more to go so i believe like you you said do 60 question so that that way like candidate can prepare for final exam yeah yeah that is a real purpose to prepare like i have to find a way whatever the way is my job as a pmp trainer is to f- make your job easy like right. that's why like i do all these things i get all the material so now before moving forward how relevant my udemy mocks are to exam i would say you know like when you are going for a match you do lot of net practice right but it depends when you change the play- place and you are not playing on your home ground then you will be testified okay how strong you are so that is a relevant example like while i was doing mock and prepcast i was like okay this is the level this could be the level of exam or maybe harder than this so let's prepare for that and as i said like i when i got like three or four liner questions with two line options or one line option i was prepared so i would say it's so much relevant your mindset will be there so in pmp you won't be upset or you won't be depressed you'll be like okay i have done that in prepcast it's okay it's normal so i would say it's so much relevant and uh, like that will that basically both thing will help your uh, concept clear and in pmp you will see the result okay let's not talk about the last day call how effective that was 
say so you know how nervous i was right so last day call i would say it was really really affecting and that things you said like focus on those criteria while you are preparing appearing for exam and i kept that in mind and i was only focusing on okay whatever sir said last time just keep focusing on two or three lines and that's what i did so, so the, I the last call was very helpful and uh, like yesterday the material you shared was very helpful and uh, i'm like okay this is the thing there is a reason to uh, like that material is for the last day when exactly. you are done, when you stop solving question now read this thing so exactly. that's you are asking sir are you going to share some material i told you yes on last day like two yeah. hours material going through the entire pmp okay uh, did you pinch yourself in the exam five six times so guys i basically ask the students uh, that if they their mind says they are not going to pass or they are going to fail in the exam pinch yourself because when you pinch yourself your mind stop working and you start you can focus on that thing it's kind of a hack you can use what about deep breathing exercise how many you did how many times so when i be, when i begin my exam i did that and at the last section because i was like okay still 60 more questions to go because in the like the i would say like the between like 60 to 120 question i didn't even realize what am i supposed to do i was just focusing on questions and exam and how i'll be performing so but yeah when there was a last section i did that so yes. uh, as i said like in last question i uh, last section i was relaxed as well because i had 80 minutes left so very very few uh, important things to learn from your journey particularly the thing that uh, get my eyes that normally we consider the first section to be the most difficult section but your second section was the most difficult section most and the most important thing till the last questions till the last question your questions were three liner or four liner that's an important right. thing to understand okay let's talk about a little bit exam so exam was more towards agent predictive or uh, more uh, so let's say prioritize agile hybrid and predictive so i would say uh, 60% was agile 25% was hybrid and uh, rest 15% was uh, i would say uh, predictive but yeah there were questions from predictive okay and two okay. or three questions because uh, like in pmp basically we don't do that but uh, i just want to share my experience two or three questions were literally like that that if you are having a trouble with the teammates you want for, you want directly reach out to the sponsor or you want reach out to the hr manager two or three questions like were like that that yeah, what, what, what we discussed what we discussed last night don't fire any people yeah. don't let go collaborate help out be a servant leader agile yeah. mindset so moving that that are the things that we need to focus on okay so let's see what about uh, uh, the most dominating knowledge area if i put the 13 topics that i have divided mm-hmm. them uh, which was the most dominant uh, team team was team. most team i would say uh, and uh, in terms of uh, let's say if we have a if we talk about the area knowledge area first was stakeholder second was resource management third was uh, schedule and fourth was cost okay okay now cost can you elaborate on cost Go yeah down. so basically what happened is like uh, they, i got the questions like okay project manager is dealing with the situation x y z and uh, what, like there are a lot of question team met left and because of that now what like, now it's going to affect the cost because it was the lead of the team it was the senior software software so it was directly question now that will affect to the cost what will be your next step or what project manager should do next so that was direct question on cost and uh, if you go through the options it was like okay they have to update cost baseline they have to go update cost management uh, management plan submit change request impact the analysis so there were questions on cost as well okay okay that that's a good thing to understand what about compliance how many questions were there for compliance two 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 questions were related and were yeah. they uh, straight forward yeah they were straight forward and they were they were quite easy they were and like few not i don't remember exactly but uh, six seven question was on procurement six seven what about risk risk was there but uh, not so many questions 
क्वालिटी it was more toward the recent situation i would say 90% was the recent situation and the real scenario whatever is happening right now and 10% was like emotional mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, everyone who is watching uh, from different platforms you can put the question in the comment box sort of from batch 14 which just ended 2 weeks ago this man did it in 2 weeks so if you want to ask him any question you can put it in the comment box and if you are watching this journey later on you can email us or you can uh, whatsapp us and we can uh, support you whatever the requirement you need okay let's talk about now the program 6 days program so how effective that was because uh, for training especially the group program in which you were doing zoom exercise making mind maps especially those mind maps were they helpful because i'm going to start a next batch uh, two days later on mm -hmm. 17 or should i omit that mind map thing Uh, so i would say like uh, batch program is the perfect if you follow whatever let's say if you are doing we have 3 3 and 6 days total batch program so if you will miss the consistency okay i'll do it tomorrow or later on or maybe after next week then you will lose the connection so i would say now you are not you basically whatever that was that was a purpose for you to join the batch program now you are disconnected from that so i would say when you attend the batch program stay with it whatever amesh sir is saying with you just stay with it and uh, in terms of mind map i would say it's a good revision when you do a chapter when you finish the chapter you like to have a revision right like what you understood and how you will be how you are performing so i would say mind map is really really important and uh, th that is the one of the thing that way you will have your concepts clear let's say i was very you know very well i was very confused about stakeholder because there were a lot of questions so i was confused like where is the stakeholder engagement where is the stakeholder engagement matrix what about the plan but basically you have if you go through the mind map so now you know the process exactly so you don't have to memorize the process you just have to go through the mind map so mind map you should not omit you should improve the mind map exercise but you should not omit no yeah yeah continuous improvement is the key but getting the feedback from certified pm is and what about like every topic you know after every topic from day 1 actually from topic 1 we start following five question and we teach how to solve question how uh, important that was that was very helpful so as you uh, like as you thought like go through the last line so basically when you go through the last line now you have your mind is prepared that project manager it, they are, sorry they are asking about the next step that what they supposed to do or they are asking what could have done to avoid the situation so now your mind is prepared now if you read the context so it's going to be easier and faster to answer the question so doing that five question uh, five questions per topic and elimination technique is the most important because some questions to be honest with you in exam you won't be able to justify like should i go with that or that but if you use elimination technique with the reason like why i would go for option a and why i don't want to go for option b that will definitely help you to answer the questions quickly I really love your passion, man. The way you are speaking, it shows like how much you have earned it. Okay, uh, then the most important thing, uh, the the program we spend it on five to six days, and mm -hmm. on the last day we do a one complete exercise. That exercise you already said the mind map. We should keep it there, so it also relates to mind map. What about coaching calls? So, what do you think? How helpful? those coaching calls were. so i would say just because of the timeline i couldn't attend all the coaching calls but whatever co coaching call i attend was good because like basically you understand like how you supposed to attend the questions and whatever coaching call i did not attend and whatever happened between this time i watch after whenever i got a time so i watch later on so basically coaching call are the thing that will help you okay you know what i choose the wrong answer why because i was thinking about something else so that will clear the concept because by myself if i'll be solving the question my concept won't be clear so coaching calls are really helpful to clear your concepts okay okay now the final thing in my entire program 
what about follow ups the daily follow ups that i keep on pushing okay so let be honest with the follow up so what happened is i used to complete all the topics right but when i did not complete the topics and i know you going to message me so i used to turn off my internet <laughs> i was like i'll complete the topic and then i turn on the internet so when i will message there will be a feedback yes i did that or i did that so that's what i used to do and yeah. basically you need some sort of mentor some sort of coach or some sort of push to clear or achieve something right so i would say you are the perfect mentor for someone to clear pnp thank you thank you very much for saying that because yesterday uh, sheryar cleared uh, pmp exam and he cleared actually after one year so in batch one they were uh, all the student who have cleared almost all everyone has cleared they were kind of making fun of this thing like we were afraid of like whenever we are going to get message uh, because the more time you spend the more updates you are going to get you only spend two weeks with me i would say because you have cleared the exam so exactly. that was fascinating now your final words for all the future aspirants and especially your batch 14 and 13 those people so for i would start with the batch 14 and 13 because i know few people from my batch as well so i would say guys go for it don't wait and don't let, like don't wait for end of the 2021 you guys still can do it we still have 15 days just clear it so batch 13 and batch 14 you guys have already done enough so now just go for the topics little bit and go for mocks and follow whatever amesh sir says because that's what i did so that's what i did and basically your guidance will be the perfect for them to clear the pmp and for pmp aspirants i would say follow udemy mocks from amesh sir and follow the prep cast and uh, don't just uh, there is no shortcut in pmp so prepare for hardest and get your result best well done well done awesome i love you lord what you said now you know that my mantra in life is each one teach one teach one so now uh, you have the entire batch with you that you need to yeah. teach many of your batch mates now i don't want to name everyone many of them are doing udemy mock some of them have done all mock some of them have done three four mm-hmm. so all of them are you know very ahead in the journey some of them got stuck at some places but now you need to push maybe take one person and try to give one or at a time and try to work with them so that would help you and them and every time every time i don't believe in free lunches although i right. put a lot of material free but i don't believe in free lunch yes all the people that you mentor you need 60 pdus to maintain your pmp exam right i guess i guess you know that i will provide you those pdus there is a category of uh, give back to the community in those pdus i will help you because i am an authorized training provider in those pdus secondly, secondly i want you to write pmp question you know why those uh, mocks were relevant to the real exam because they right. were written by people like you those who have certified not the real question uh, according to code of ethics we cannot share those mm-hmm. but near to that near to that yeah. or the context basically from the exam content outline mm-hmm. we can share that and uh, finally you just clear the exam although you wanted to share your journey tomorrow i kind of push you no 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 no, no. i want to record it tonight and uh, so enjoy my friend you did thank you you did your part you did very hard work now is the time maybe go outside enjoy it. your holidays are coming enjoy the holidays yeah. to full fledge and celebrate this success i'm sure that this is going to be awesome year for you and with that sort of thank you very much it has been an honor to help you in becoming certified but i would like to end this conversation as saying i would consider i would say title of this journey is journey with amir ali <laughs> thank you thank you i'm going to say like it's not end of the like pmp it's it's end of the pmp journey but we'll still keep in touch there are more certification needs to go so oh, sure depending we will work on that but now next year this year you enjoy yes, exactly. this year you earned it your goal was to clear before christmas you got 10 days before christmas now i don't want that you get uh, into another certification and then uh, destroy his holidays you not see anymore. we are not in a rat race we should enjoy stop think right. so it's the time 
relax, enjoy, help others to become simplified. Yeah. With that, yeah. sort of, thank you very much for becoming. Thank you, sir. Bye bye.